Hello Minecrafters, and welcome to another Redstone Invention tutorial. This time I'm going to be doing the secret door. Unfortunately, it's only going to be a single block secret door. I think, I personally think that makes more sense for a secret door. Um, could, like, the smaller it is, you know, the more secret-ish it is. Uh, I'm going to be showing you two models, the one that's in my Assassin's Guild. Uh, it's primarily if you want a straight hallway to go through. Um, that's fine, but it has a very, very uh, spacious mechanism because I have to bring the circuit over to the other side and I'll explain more about that later. And the other one is very small if you don't mind taking a little elbow curve to your whatever your secret room is. Alright, so like, let's get started. Basically this video, I'm not going to be building it for you. I'm just going to stare at things and point them out because these are pretty complex and I haven't worked on this one in a while, I haven't touched it in a while, so it could be, um, I'm sure it could be improved upon just by looking at it. Okay, so, here's the lever that activates it, just hear the pistons, maybe, through my microphone. Um, it hits the redstone current there, which I had to route around that way to hit a not gate. Uh, wait, oh, this is my brother's thing, he was trying to make it openable both ways. Oh shoot, no I needed that one. Okay. Power goes to the redstone circuit, goes down there. You have to make sure to actually set delays on the power that goes to these because the this piston that actually makes the door must retract first or else it won't be retractable by the other two. Now, so this one goes live first and it waits for the other piston to get there. This current goes here, gets delayed by a... Well, I don't know if you need maximum delay on the uh, the uh, repeater. Uh, just a little bit will suffice. Just needs enough so that um, when it opens up, it'll take the pistons back. Anyway, we're going to use two knot gates. One there that leads to one here. Uh, r the redstone... In order for both pistons to work, the redstone must go to the top piston. It must go there or else it won't work. And uh, yeah, so then you just make this elbow and um, curve it off and hit the both of these. Now, well, that, that's basically this one. Works pretty well. You can hide it as much as you want. The only thing you have to keep open is this redstone circuit right here because that is what makes this one extend. Everything else you can just brick up as much as you want. It's perfectly fine. It'll work. Okay. That is that one. The other one is so much simpler. Uh, the lever's a little bit farther away just because I felt like uh, putting it on this side. Um, because I didn't have to extend the circuit to the other side. Uh, this is if you don't mind making a left turn or a right turn depending on which... Uh, way you make this mechanism. Both mechanisms are totally, you know, mirrorable. They can totally be made uh, any way you want. Um, but as you can see, this one works. And this is it. This current comes in through there, hits these two repeaters, which I'm using directionally so that they don't smash into each other and do absolutely nothing. Uh, yeah, so that's fine. Again, I had to put these here because the delay must go on the door extenders as opposed to the block extender because this needs to ex uh, retract first before it can be retracted. And then the circuit just goes right here and catches this guy as he comes out. And there you have it. And again, you can hide everything except for this little doohickey of uh, stuff here because... Yeah, can't be block by blocks. All right. Well, there it is. There's your secret doors. I don't know how to make a double door. Look for, to somebody else for that. I don't like double secret doors. I think that's a little silly. But whatever. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. Goodbye.